How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Software Inc. Welcome back to Nerdsoft. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. This is going to be an exciting time for the company. We're building up to a very, very big 1992. Or at the very least, that is the plan and that is the hope. We have just had some of the biggest sales. In fact, not some of. We have just had the biggest sales numbers that this company has ever seen thanks to Vector 4 hitting the market and making millions upon millions of dollars every single month. Which, to be completely honest, is probably the best way to close out 1991. We were in a situation where we were starting to lose some money and Vector 4 has completely turned it around. And then going into 1992, we have Bug Blocker 93 coming out in December. We have Vertex coming out in December. We're still seeing money coming in from Vector 4, and it is still being ported to some other operating systems as well. So across the board, the company is doing pretty well. Now, immediately, what I want to do is have a look at 1993. I want to see when we have some audio tools coming out, and it's looking like, well, we have one in November, and that's it. That is it. We also get a full year without any competition in the 3D editor field. So, here's what I want to do. I want to aim for, I'm thinking August or maybe even sooner, maybe May. Maybe the middle of Q2 1993 is when we're going to aim for with Amplitude 2. Although, to be completely honest, I feel like we probably could get it out in December this year. I'm going to go for May of 1993, which actually has another 3D editor coming out. So this will hopefully offset some of the losses we might see there. So essentially, let's go ahead and slap this in for May of 93. And that'll be the initial release date for Amplitude 2. Hopefully not going to be pushing it back. But if we have to, we have to. That's just how things go. And at this point, really, what we need to be doing is making sure everybody is working. That's that's kind of my goal, because as it stands right now, we have Amplitude 2, which is being worked on by the 2D audio and systems teams. And that's in the design phase, which is great. And then if we have a look at Bug Blocker, it's got the systems and 2D teams, as well as, I believe, the network team. So that's going to have some programmers work in there. So a lot of my staff are doing things, but I would like them to be doing more things. For example, it might not be a terrible idea to start working on a successor to Vector 4. Do we need to do that? Probably not. Let's be completely honest. We, we probably don't need to make a sequel right away, but eventually we can go ahead and project manage this. And eventually what that means is we can just start churning out sequels. So what I'll do for now is I'll throw the 2D team on this and I'll throw the 2D team on there as well. And that's going to keep us in a pretty good spot. In terms of actually making this thing, we have some choices. We have Gail Delgado right here, who might be a good shout for a 2D editor. And... We have actually got, uh, yeah, Gail, I think is probably going to be our best shout. So let's go ahead and select you to lead this project with a 37% to 93% creativity score expected. And if we go and just look at this thing, I mean, it's going to have all the same features as the previous one. It's probably going to use an existing framework, possibly the voxel engine, for example, might not be the worst choice. So we'll hit that in there. We can source control it, and then we can just, I mean, look, here's the thing. This is already doing, and honestly, we should probably bring the tech level up a little bit on all of these. Uh, this is already doing more than it needs to, okay? This thing is kind of nuts, but I'm thinking I might throw something like liquefy in there, and we are getting towards the two-year mark on this, or procedural shapes, just so that we can keep this thing churning out. Because if we have it in Vector 5, then, you know, for example, if I say Vector 5 is going to have all of this, which honestly, it probably could. We probably could throw all of this in here because then we can just keep churning this out. 
three years development, probably closer to four. I mean, we're probably going to be making money off Vector 4 for a while. But then again, we have, you know, these these can all be things that go into future softwares. Get out of here. I don't care about that. Uh, so let's pull that out of there. Let's pull Liquify out of there. Let's pull image effects out of there. Let's pull text rendering out of there. And let's just do procedural shapes or let's do procedural shapes and text rendering. In fact, let's do all of that. That seems like a good sort of baseline. We'll throw drawing tablet support in there. It is a lot of wasted interest. I don't love the fact that there's wasted interest, but I'm just going to sort of allow it. We'll do $70. We'll go to the next page. We'll say that this thing is going to go on to all of the, let's see, every operating system back to 1980 can have this thing. So 2.3 million potential consumers. We'll hit next. We'll auto balance. And this is potentially just going to help us out in the long run. We're going to be making enough money off of this anyway that I don't really worry about it taking a long time. It's, you know, Vector 4 is going to keep us going. At least I hope Vector 4 is going to keep us going. If it doesn't, I, well, actually it is already down to 1.2 million, but I, I am sure we'll be fine, right? I'm, I'm sure everything will be okay. Let's just make sure the Amplitude 2 is prioritized there, which actually thinking about it, it is about to be done with that iteration. It is done with that iteration. So we'll go ahead and throw that into uh, development now, which means that the 2D team is now exclusively working on Vector 5. And we probably want to get the systems team on this as well, because there is some system stuff to be done in there. And that means that, yeah, Vector 5 can be, fig we can figure it out. It's, it's whatever. It'll, it's actually getting designed pretty quickly. It might be it might be sooner than later that we see that thing hit the market, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and start looking back towards Bug Blocker ninety three and well, Amplitude two is fine. Let's let's move this one down. Let's prioritize my list a little bit here. Uh, so, Bug Blocker ninety three and Vertex both go out this December. Neither one is finished, although Bug Blocker is close. Uh, Horse Sim is almost done porting, which is great news. Which I guess at this point. We should probably look at getting the post-launch team working on some more updates. So let's see what we can do here. We have a bug to fix on Vector 4. That's fine. We'll go ahead and throw that into Source Control and get that update going. Horse Simulator. It's still making money. We should probably make an expansion and we should probably change the price to $70. So let's get an update rolling out here. We got a lot of bugs. We got to bring the audio up to date. We got to bring the 2D up to date. We got to bring the systems up to date. So let's see here. Let's go with picture stop four. Let's go with audio pause. And that's probably fine. We can, uh, we'll probably want to put some, uh, well, probably the audio. Wow. System 2D and audio could probably all go on this to be completely honest. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, and then bug blocker 90, I mean, we can probably fix some bugs on this as well. We'll bring it up to date a little bit, I suppose. We'll throw, I don't know, picture stop four onto this guy as well. We'll throw some system in there and we'll get it updated. Even if it doesn't get updated in time. Oh man, money really is starting to drop off a little bit. We're down to 47,000 in profits last month, which is a little bit rough. Sales are down to 1.4 million. And looking at it, I mean, if we... Have a look across the board at our most recent sales. We can drag this guy out a little bit. So last month was 673,249. That's honestly not bad, but it could be considerably better. Hopefully some of the updates we're working on will fix that a little bit. It would certainly be nice to see that all get fixed a little bit. I've also gone ahead and moved my systems team to start working on Vertex because it turns out that the systems development on Vertex was holding it back a little bit. And fortunately, having that team on there now seems to be speeding things up a little bit. So I'm thinking that we'll do, we'll start marketing in, I guess, July. I think I did say we'd do June, but July will work. We'll also update Vector 4. Uh, and then Bug Blocker 90 has a bunch of funnily enough, bugs to be fixed. Horse Simulator has a bunch of bugs as well. So we'll manage. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. I think we're, 
we're about on track for a relatively successful end to 1992. At least I hope we're on track for a relatively successful end to 1992. We will certainly see. Now, Vector's back up above a million, which is great to see. Very, very happy about that. Uh, the porting job on Vector is also... It's been done for a while. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. And it doesn't look like I did. So it's on pretty much everything, which is great. And then looking in here, Vertex is so, so close to that beta. Now, let's do some things because I almost forgot to do it. Uh, marketing. Let's get marketing going for Bug Blocker... 93 and let's get that up to the top and as a 10 out of 10 priority vector is going to come down to eight and then vertex is going to be the same thing it's going to go up to the top and be a 10 out of 10 priority and then what we can also do is probably throw a press build in there for both of them and i want to get hype going for both of them as well just across the board so again sort of 10 out of 10 on both of those so hopefully we're going to see some good things. Hopefully. I'm I'm hoping people are going to like these. Vertex might be a little bit buggy since we've not done anything in a beta phase yet. But by the looks of it, it's going to be ready to move into beta today. Maybe not. Maybe next month. That's fine. Cutting it a little close, but that's all right. I am a little worried about amplitude. I've got to be honest. We're less than a year out and it's not really come along as much as I'd like. Although looking at it, it seems to be 2D that's holding it back. So let's throw a 2D team in there and see if they can help us out a bit. And looking here, how are we doing? Vertex is 42 followers, bug blocker 121. I'm not going to read what the journalists had to say about it because I don't particularly care. My priority is getting Vertex into beta. And then we'll go ahead and start printing these. So we'll do a maximum of 100,000 units in stock at any one time for vertex and we'll do the same for bug blocker 93 as well so both of them are going to be a hundred thousand units in stock at any one time hoping for big sales on these obviously but whether or not that happens is yet to be seen uh it's looking like amplitude 2 is 100 percent going to be done in time for may of 93 which is great throwing the 2d team in there seems to have helped quite a bit and horse sim is almost done porting right there let's just up the priority on that so it gets done a little bit quicker and just like that it is december of 1992 we just had our first month in a long time where we lost some money and i'm not a hundred percent sure uh it looks like it was on marketing to be completely honest but that's it's whatever i'm not super stressed about it because we are about to release two pieces of software so let's go ahead and release vertex and see what people think of it small issues it's magnificent three stars five stars two stars well that happens uh we'll go for a twenty-five thousand dollar budget right there on vertex marketing we'll move that right up to the top and make it a 10 out of 10 priority and then bug blocker 93 is gonna go out there as well we're gonna go ahead and release it see what they think of it and it's gonna be great quality five stars it's a step down for the ip which is slightly concerning uh that's that's not great this was a bit of a risk though so we'll see We'll see what happens. We'll throw Bug Blocker up to the uh, the top there as well with a 10 out of 10. And uh, Amplitude can wait. Amplitude's not losing followers. Vector. Uh, Bug Blocker 90 marketing. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to end it. And Horse Sim. I'm going to I'm gonna end that as well, I think. Just to be safe. Uh, and then in terms of priorities, let's keep uh, this one as the top. Let's keep Vector or Vertex or whatever. Uh, so we'll put bug blocker there and priority 10 vertex priority 10 bug blocker 90 maybe priority uh, let's say eight horse sim is priority eight as well and vector four is priority 10 so we'll put it up there in fact these guys could probably come down to like five and five and that should be fine 
I guess we're just hoping for good things now. How do they turn out? They are both outstanding, which is great. So Bug Blocker 90 was only good, which is which is fantastic. So we are we have stepped things up a little bit there. Uh, let's. Is there anything to port this to? There absolutely is. Sloth, 1.9 million active users, immediately do that. And Bug Blocker 93, immediately onto Sloth as well. And uh, let's have Vertex be the priority there over uh, Bug Blocker so we can hopefully get this done. In fact, you know, I'm I'm willing to go all out and say that every single team uh, bar marketing, even support, in fact, not support, every team needs to be working on uh, getting these things ported. It might be silly to put everyone on that, but I want, I want Vertex ported. I, I just, I have a feeling I want it to be a success. That's what we're looking for. Marketing for Bug Blocker 93 and Vertex. It's sparse on both, but Vertex is the first of its kind. So please let me see a profit here. Are we going to see anything? 26,000 and 4,000 on Bug Blocker. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, that's not good. Um, well, that certainly complicates things. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, hopefully marketing can step it up a little bit. We might actually need to expand the marketing team, to be completely honest, because they have this room. There's six of them. I feel like we should. Ex yeah, I feel like we need to expand the marketing team. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here with this room. Uh, repair all rooms and restore. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's let's figure this out. We we definitely need to make these teams a bit better. So let's move this desk. Uh, not just that one. I want to move all of them. And uh, I didn't want to grab the the heater thing in the back there. I just want the desk. And I'm going to move it to the window. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab all of this. I'm going to move it to the window as well. And I'm going to grab all of this and move it down to there. Now, hmm, I, I could do this with it, right? I could, if I really wanted to, sort of just dot a bunch of identical desks in here and sort of take away some of the uh, the, the more unique uh, look that some of these offices have. I don't know if they're actually really that unique, but you know what I mean. I, I could essentially do this. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't love it, but I feel like I need to do that. I feel like marketing needs a lot more people. But what I will do is I will at least make their office a little bit more pleasant. So let's get them a nice, I don't know, a nice plant or something. We'll give them like a plant there. We'll give them a nice, I don't know, a nice painting of a computer on, uh, on the wall back here. So say right about there. That seems nice. We can even give them some bookshelves. Try and make them a little bit more efficient. So give them some uh, some books right there. Some books right there. And hell, I might even give them a rug. Boost their mood and their environment a little bit. There we go. The shade of blue on the carpet doesn't match anything, but it's, it's probably fine. It's just sort of there to make them a little bit happier in that room. Now, how many chairs do we have now? 12. So we've essentially doubled the size of the marketing team, which is actually exactly what we wanted to do. So let's 100% get uh, a bunch more people in here on that team. They'll hopefully be here tomorrow. And hopefully that's going to mean that uh, marketing actually gets done in a reasonable amount of time. And hopefully that's going to mean that we, I don't care. I get out of here. Hopefully that's going to mean that my new softwares are actually going to make money. Uh, now, Bug Blocker just made 75,000 and Vertex made 384. So that is that is a profit a little bit on, on both of those. That is a step in the right direction. And it certainly looks like marketing is going a lot quicker with the six extra people on that team. So that is exactly what we want to be seeing. Hopefully, wait a minute, Amplitude comes out in May. I thought it came out in March. We're fine. This Amplitude press release is really not getting done in, in any reasonable amount of time. Oh, we just managed to make a profit last month. Fantastic. Vertex, 674,000. Bug blocker doing whatever it can. Uh, the bug blocker port is going ahead right there as well. Let's finish these updates 
for some of the older softwares as well. And let's... I, I was going to say we'd make an expansion for Horse Simulator 2, but it's a four-year-old game at this point. I don't know if we're going to do that. We'll probably make a sequel. But I think for Bug Blocker 93 and Vertex, we need to immediately go in here with some networking upgrades, some uh, 2D upgrades, and some system upgrades. And in terms of tech, it's going to be Picture Stop 5, since we haven't made a 2D editor in a bit, although we are working on one. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And for Vertex, it's going to be sort of a similar thing. So system needs upgraded, 3D needs upgraded, and it's got some bugs. So we'll get those sorted as quickly as we can. I'm very tempted to throw every single team at it the way we have before, just to get it done quickly. But we'll see if we even need to do that i just i want to see because the marketing has become prominent on both of these i want to see if vertex continues to make money Six hundred eighty-six thousand. i'll take it that's actually pretty good and apparently my fans are noticing that we haven't put out a audio tool in a while so hopefully they're going to be happy about amplitude 2 which is releasing next month that's 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 a very big hopefully am i even printing this thing i better be it turns out oh boy i wasn't okay uh let's do fifty thousand. i think fifty thousand is a pretty healthy number on on a lot of these we could probably lower the print jobs a little bit so we don't quite have as many you know copies of everything in storage fifty thousand across the board just seems nice so let's see 250 bugs fixed is pretty good vector 5 is actually in its last iteration as well which is fantastic news bug blocker is almost done being ported we got some updates going really nicely for all of those as well so i guess let's see we we did get a press release out for amplitude 2 it wasn't very good but it's it's out there which is better than it not being uh i'm also thinking the budget on this i'm gonna just bump it to thirty thousand and see if that can get us to uh even more like widespread or unavoidable marketing it'd be kind of nice if we could i'm also thinking we'll just release amplitude 2 immediately and see what we've got five stars four stars and three okay we'll go for a thirty thousand dollar budget on marketing this guy move it up to the top and i'm gonna say it's gonna be a priority nine so it's slightly in there above Vector 4, which is only prominent as well. You know what? That's, it's already got a $30,000 budget. So we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see if my marketing team can actually do all four tasks in a single day. I'm certainly hoping they can. It's I mean, they're halfway through them, which is better than nothing. And it's looking like, eh, yeah, it's looking like we could use a few more guys in the, the marketing team. But... I want to see what happens here. I want to see how Amplitude manages to do. People did like the original, I think. Was the original successful? It wasn't, was it? Where was the, where's the original? It's right there. Wow, 84. It uh, did not make a profit. Did it sell very well? Net units, 72,000. It did okay for 1984. So let's see what the sequel does. We just got $1.8 million. Okay. I wasn't expecting 1.8 million dollars from amplitude but i will take it and i will port it because there's two million people on sloth that currently can't get it and i'm also going to update it immediately to have better tech because that seems like an important thing to do i think people would appreciate it having better tech so we'll get that update going and good that's that's uh wow I wasn't expecting that. I That was not the piece of software that I was expecting to be successful today. I really wasn't expecting it to be Amplitude. And now we have the simple fact of not working on anything. <laughs> we're, we're not doing anything now. We're just designing Vector. Which means, I guess... Do we... I, we should probably... We should probably get some team leaders that can do what's what's the one i'm looking for project management we probably want to get project management going so we can start automating the the releases of things or we take all this money 
and we start looking at hardware. But I think to do hardware, we'd probably need to go and buy another plot of land and build a new studio. Also, Vertex fell off hard. Oh, God. That's rough. 50,000 last month. It has turned a profit, but not much. Let me look at releases here. So Vertex is here. Oh, my God. Quad Stop Suite 2 released in May. And by July, it's made 10 million in profit. It's also a dollar cheaper than Vertex. You cheeky b All right. Okay. You know what? Vertex is going down to... Uh, we're going to cut it right down to $70 is what we're going to do on uh, good old Vertex. Uh, bug Blocker is $50. What's the competition looking like? So Bug Blocker's $50. Uh, this one's $62. So Bug Blocker is the cheapest. I can't believe they made it a dollar cheaper. I actually can't believe that. That's, that's, that is really, that is really something. I'm also really like, what, what's, what's so great about this? It's just got unavoidable marketing. I think that's about it. 188,000 units. Good Lord. Let's see how Vertex does. We got an update out for it. 92,000. I'll take it. Amplitude 2, still 2.6 million. Bug Blocker has got an update coming. So in time. I'm sure it will uh, see the light of day. It is looking like systems holding it back a little bit. Amplitude 2s is done. Still some bugs, but uh, not super worried about it. What we'll do is push this out as soon as the workday is done, which it is. So hopefully, I have a little bit more in the way of sales on Amplitude 2 here. Maybe. 2.5 million is hopefully going to climb a little bit to, uh, I don't know, 3? Can we get? Can we see a 3 million? 2.6. I'll take 2.6. Okay, I think we need to build, I think we need another building, to be honest, because I, I really like this HQ and I don't want to tear it down. So we're going to stick with this plot, obviously, and I think we're going to buy, I mean, hell, I might build, I might put another building like over here, just way away from this one. And it's just going to be, I don't know, hardware and support. We could move, we could move marketing over there. We could move support over there. We could put more development teams in here. That might actually not be, that might not be a terrible idea. That really might not be a terrible idea. Because then what we can do is we can say that the meeting rooms in the other building would be for the teams in that building as well. So that they're not going to be tempted to cross the entire city to get over here. So we'll, we'll see about that. Let's get this bug blocker update finished and out. I'm genuinely a little disappointed in how poorly things have have gone for uh, Vertex and Bug Blocker. I was really genuinely expecting more from both of them, but Amplitude 2 sort of came in clutch there. So not the end of the world. I think what I will do, uh, actually, eh. I'm tempted to hire a second marketing team. I'm very tempted to hire a second marketing team. I'm also thinking we should get all of our teams working on more things. So Amplitude, or let's sort by release. Amplitude, we could start making a sequel or a threequel. Amplitude 3, Bug Blocker 93. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with that. Vertex, I'm not sure what to do with either. Uh, vector 4, I mean, we could start making Vector 5, I guess. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. I'm just, I'm genuinely a little upset about Vertex and Bug Blocker. I really am. I was, I was expecting so much better. And so I think on that note, which is a little bit bittersweet, because we have had really good success with Amplitude 2, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Give me your suggestions in the comments below for what we should do with another building. Because I really do want to get into hardware development. I just, I'm not 100% sure what the building should look like. And I'm not sure if we should move the support teams. So support, marketing, legal over into that building. But like I said, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below what you think what your suggestions are, and 
what you think we should do with the company moving forward. Because I feel like we've hit this spot where we just develop the same things over and over again. I'm very tempted to change it up a little bit. I'm very tempted to see if perhaps Nerdrosoft can go the way of Microsoft and maybe we try to make a games console and then maybe we try to make a bunch of games. Might not be a terrible idea. We could put the games on PC. We could put them on our console. We could maybe see what happens. Whatever it is we do, we'll have to wait until next time, because like I said, that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye bye